All right, so we're back on Breaking Dawn. We got set Viola aboard with us right now, Ian, between two topics. Um, we don't know which one he's going to go with, but I'll tell you straight up, set. Hold on. I'll tell you straight up. We're 741. We're 741. So if you want to touch on one or two, you should be able to, because we might have until about 752. So, so talk to okay, us. Okay. What is it? What, what is right. it? So, so well, we'll go with the heat first. Because, you want to go with the heat? You know, yeah, just to give some pointers on, on what people should do with regards uh, to the, the weather that we're experiencing right. uh, lately. All right, as we saw that we, we got some warnings there um, over this past week here and last week regarding the the heat that we're supposed to be getting over the next two weeks over period the next two weeks, yeah. 29th of September. Of course, this is the heat period, mm -hmm. right? So um, based on annually what regularly happens September month, is usually a hot month. It's rain showers right. on the judgment day, but we ain't, we ain't yeah. getting that at all. Um, it's hot sun, <laughs> but like I was saying, if you've been watching the program this morning, I was telling the director, I said, I'm not feeling, I don't know, I'm not feeling, i outside and I'm, you know. Right. Maybe no, I could this, this is This is what makes the difference, right? Um, what one eats and consume on the average day, it is what has a big role or factor to play in how your body can tolerate and manage higher temperatures. Mm -hmm. All right. So to me, being outside, um, I still do my aerobics class. I I usually do my aerobics class in a shorts alone, and I do not wear sunscreen. I haven't used sunscreen in years. Right. All right. Does it bother me? Do I get sunburns? No, I don't. All right. And I'm out in the blazing sun because we have to understand. Because I think I did a segment either last year or year before, mm -hmm. with regards to skin cancer, where the levels of skin cancer has been increasing, but people's exposure to sun has been decreasing, right? Right. So because of that decrease in sun exposure, why is it that skin cancer levels are on the rise? And it comes back to nutrition, right? right. When you consume foods that are high in a uh, plant-based substance called furucumarins, which we looked at in carrots and celery and a lot of uh, some seasonings that people use in citrus fruits. They are high in furucumarins, and that increases photosensitivity. Mm -hmm. All right? It increases photosensitivity. So your skin is more susceptible uh, to damage from the sun because of what you have been consuming. Right. Uh, and many people aren't aware of that. So I don't get sunburns, even though I'm out in the sun, right? In just my shorts alone, right? I don't get sunburn and I'm taking that heat full force. The other, the other aspect now has to do with you, the UVB rays from the sun. That plays a role in the production of vitamin D, right? Your best source of vitamin D3, which is called chlorocalciferol, right? Your best source of that is sunlight. Sunlight. Not supplementing, not the foods that you eat. Your number one source is sunlight. And and, right? and we learned sunlight. that sunlight. We learned that we learned that during the pandemic. Correct. Didn't we? Correct. We learned that <laughs> yeah, we learned that the hard way. We learned that the hard way, right? A yeah. lot of people inside, a lot of people started getting sick. Because a vitamin D deficiency would cause your pancreas to produce more parathyroid hormone, which is going to increase your chances of suffering with um, sinuses. Right. All right. So you need that sun exposure. But in order for the, 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 the UVB rays to be converted into vitamin D3, you need cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Right. Now you're going to see how all these things are going to pan in. I feel we might just have time to do one topic. All right. right. Go ahead. So, so when, when you, you need cholesterol so that the UVB rays can interact with your cells and tissue and whatnot and create the vitamin B3. Now, most people are on a low cholesterol diet and consuming statin drugs, which I, I, I would tell everybody if you're on statin drugs, get out. Of course, you need to fix other aspects of, of your diet as well. You just don't try to suppress your cholesterol levels if your cholesterol is high because cholesterol plays seriously important roles in your body. So you don't right. just try to suppress that. You need to fix what is causing the damage in your body that causes the body to now send cholesterol to do the repairs. Right. You have to look at especially the triglyceride level. So that's just a bio. So if you want more information on that, book your appointment we will deal with that all right and we'll show you how to get over uh, those issues all right so you need cholesterol all right you need cholesterol in order for vitamin d to be produced and for the thyroid glands to function correctly and not be overworked 
uh, due to the deficiency of that. The other thing from the sun is you have near infrared light from the sun. Near infrared light causes the body to produce subcellular melatonin. So you need sunlight to get that near infrared light, which is you can't see with your eyes, but your body responds to it. That produces subcellular melatonin. That subcellular melatonin reduces oxidation in the mitochondria, which is your energy factories of your bodies, right? So that can prolong life. Mm -hmm. right so subcellular melatonin is needed so it's not about avoiding the sun in fact people that are eating better and stay out in the sun longer live a healthier life so the heat shouldn't really be bothering people as it should today unless you are inside and, and the, the place that you are inside is very humid and you are losing fluids now this brings us to one of my favorite topics stefan uh -huh. which is salt salt is salt because people would say you need to be hydrated i mean the ministry have even issued that to the school's children to hydrate the human body is made up of over 60 percent water we are hydrated mm -hmm. right but if you don't have right sodium levels your body would not know how to allocate and utilize water, water. salt regulates your lymphatic system it tells your cells how much water to retain, how much water to excrete, where to put the water, where to carry it, how to move it around the body. If your sodium levels are too low, because if you are sweating due to the humidity, now we may not be profusely sweating, but you lose fluids all the time. So if the place is humid, you may not be soaking, soaking wet, but you are losing fluids. You need to replenish your sodium levels not just drinking what i like to call empty water right right you need to replenish your sodium levels if you don't we look at that topic a couple of weeks ago with hyponutremia where right. the woman was drinking water because of the heat and she diluted her her blood sodium levels and that led to death mm -hmm. to her death so a lack of salt can actually cause your demise in higher uh, temperature levels because right. people do not know that you need to focus more on your electrolytes than just being hydrated and there are plenty of water on sale here that are just plain and simply empty well well right? just plain and simply empty. well you know it's interesting because i remember when you sent me the message the other day i ain't calling the brand name because they're those sponsors mm -hmm. um but yes. there's a particular brand that you told me yeah those sponsors we can't call the name if, 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 I mean, right, they, right. They, 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 they miss out on opportunity because, you know, but yeah, you yeah, told yeah, me yeah. that that particular brand of water, um, you told me to drink that specifically um, mm -hmm. for the mere fact. Yeah. And, and, you know, I checked the label. I never checked the label before, you know, on a bottle of water. Yeah. But I actually mm -hmm. checked the label. Most people don't. I don't check. Yeah, because water is water. So you just pop. You didn't really check the label. Um, yeah, but, and that's the only bottled water I could drink. And when I drink it, I don't have a, a my, my face don't twist, you know, because you know? the others I can't really tolerate the taste, right? And, and, and that's and, the only one when you drink it, you feel better. And and I have been telling people that that particular brand of water to me tastes mm. better than anything else on the market, right? Correct. correct. And I didn't and know why. I didn't know why because yeah, I never look at the label. I never look yeah, at the label. We, no, I see. Are, yeah, and so we are inclined to source hydration, things that would hydrate, mm -hmm. right? And and most people aren't conscious of what we consume because we consume things not understanding. We don't eat for pleasure. We eat and we consume stuff to nourish the body, so the body would have a response to things that are better right things that are better right so when i eat because of what i do eat i don't feel for more i don't feel for less mm -hmm. i feel satisfied now when you yeah. eat something and you feel oh good i want to get more this i want to get as much as i can and then you, let's say you had the opportunity where you could then you start to feel sick that what you are eating isn't good for you right because it have no cut off point your body naturally has built in cut off point you know so yeah. when people are, are overeating and this is how we have a lot of obesity is because of what they are consuming is not what the body is designed for 
Right. And therefore, the body would store it as fat because the body interprets it as a toxin and is trying to safeguard the damage that would be done to your organs in an attempt to try to eliminate it. So it would store some of it as fat. Yeah. This is why a lot of people are gaining excess weight. Right? But like I said, I mean, those that want more information on these things, you book your consultation. I would sit down with you and I would explain, like I, I've, I've told many people, the, what I do in a consultation, I call it a consultation and re-education session. You are going to be re-educated. You are going to learn more on nutrition and health in that one setting mm -hmm. than your entire life combined. And, and yeah. my song, my song, um, unbelievable, eh? my song, unbelievable. But for the people that have met with me, they are like, wow, this is actually worth it. The information that they have gained, it changed their whole thinking. Now, for some, they realize the kind of changes they have to make to their lifestyle is a big one. Yeah. And you also have to be prepared and willing to act upon truth, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you have this saying, do as I say, but not as but I do. But that is I do, yeah. Right? Yeah, a lot of people don't like to do. Yeah. Right? And, and, that's, and that's also an issue. We, we want to know the information. But are we going to act upon the information? You know, as the saying goes, which is a biblical saying, faith without works is dead. To me, what is the point of knowing something if you're not going to act, act upon, upon it? On it. I, I, I and, think it's better to not know it. And I met, yeah. I met a guy, a guy stopped me on the avenue there last week. He mm -hmm. saw me and he said, hey, you said I'm going to talk to you and I have a minute. I said, what happened? So he come across and talk to me. He said, I want to talk to you about that fella, you know. I said, which fella, boy? He said, the fella who's be on your show now. The, the set fella. <laughs> I said, all right. Well, I thought, in some, some criticism he covered with I thought it was something like that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I said, well, what happened to set? He said, I'm going to tell you something. There's an elderly guy, yeah? There's an elderly guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could be about, he could be in his, well into his 60s. Mm -hmm. So he was like, um, he said, see that man? That man know what he said. <laughs> so he really know what he said. So he said, no, he said, I'm telling you, that man know what he said. He said, for years. He said, listen. He said, he said, Stefan. And watch me, the, the fella. But I tell you, he, 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 I wouldn't say he's slim, but he have no set of fat on him, nothing at all. Eh? A little guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But he's been eating the way that you have been talking about, right? For yeah. years, for years, right? He said, boy, my partner come in to celebrate the birthday, I go take a little drink today, I really suppose I take a drink, yeah, but yeah, I had to live too, you know? But mm -hmm, his, mm -hmm. his, his diet does not include the things that you do not include, and it includes the things that you include. And he said, yeah. for years, he did so. And he said, boy, can't remember the last time he was sick. He can't remember the last time he had a body pain. He can't, he can't remember the last time he ended up in complications. And he said, he said, Stefan, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't believe it, but I was three times the size. You see in here now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, and you see my size now? He said, it's, it's when I started to eat so, I just drop off all that weight and a solid now yeah. and, yeah. And, and the fellow yeah. real, and the fellow real, when I tell you energetic, he real up down, he think, for, for his mm -hmm. age now, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, I, what I have told people is you can't miss something you never had. And most people in this country have never experienced what it is to be totally healthy. Mm. Yeah. And because they have never experienced what it is to be totally healthy, they don't think they're missing out on anything. But live in my body for one day, you're going to realize how much you're missing out. Mm. Because every single thing that you experience is way better when you are totally healthy. Yeah. It is way, way better. Your vision, every single thing, your sense of smell, taste, touch, everything is, is improved. Yeah. Is improved. Yeah, you said right? that. So you really said that. People people don't know what they're missing. They don't yeah. know what they're missing. He really, really yeah. said that. He was he the fella said I, I tell you the way he approached was like, I saw oh God boy, I'll go down and get it here. <laughs> I want to see that man who he said. <laughs> Sorry, brother man. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, Seth, thanks a lot. Um, always a pleasure. And um, I ain't on it fully. I still... But you're getting there. You're getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But I had to say, yeah. I, I don't feel bloated and stuff again. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I don't feel bloated and thing. You know when I feel bloated when I drink, like if I drink 
If I drink a bottle of water too fast, yeah, yeah, I will feel like I, I yeah, okay, you know. Okay. But if I sip it, because I tell you that, it really is supposed to gobble down a, a, a bottle of water. It's supposed to sip it. Um, but but yeah, yeah. sometimes I just, yeah. But but eating wise, when I eat, nah, I don't I don't feel I don't feel bloated thing at all. I just feel like you say satisfied. Um, and mm -hmm. there's no when to stop. There's no when to stop. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. and I only eat when my body when 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 it when it's say hungry, you know. Um, okay. But okay. but yeah, I I I I, I ease it my way over. I, but it's kind of hard for me because of the job I have, eh? Because I see I'm going up in a yeah, taste yeah. of Grandi. <laughs> you know when I go up in a taste of Grandi, what's going to happen? Yes, I was listening. I was listening. So you see, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the complication with me. But nevertheless, man, um, we'll chat yes. again next week, man. Yeah, so next week we'll be touching on fibroids next week. All right, nice, man. Okay. So take it easy. That's it, why all about it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Set on the inside. I'm telling you, I don't even feel that heat. I'm telling you, I ain't feeling that heat, boy. Um, I don't know, something's wrong with me. All right.